Hello everybody and welcome back to Chillington Farm. So as you can see here, the subsoiler has just four minutes left until it has completed the job. Uh, this was a big field. It's taken approximately two hours to get this done. Uh, and once it is done, we can start to drill. We have minus 239 pounds, but it's fine because we have bales. Well, we have a few bales. I did say in the previous episode that I really didn't want to take out a loan. I don't want to have to rely on the bank to help us. So we really are going to be staying alive with what looks to be five straw bales. They're not going to give us much, but it's something. So I'm going to go and sell these. And I think whilst I'm doing it, I'm actually going to go over to the other grass field and get the T4 working, start the mowing process. Obviously, we can't afford to even lease another mower. So we're going to have to go with just the rear mower, but it's fine. We have no rush. Uh, so I have a big plan to obviously get the silage processed as quickly as possible and sold. That is going to bring in a substantial amount of money, which will certainly keep us on our feet, uh, or put us back on our feet. Um, because, it, yes, at the moment it's obviously quite tricky. And from there, we'll be able to buy some more machinery to expand the farm in other ways, and then when harvest comes along, we will have hopefully so much money that we can really expand. Maybe even buy some more land. That would be interesting. Uh, right, okay, so just got to go get my front weight, which is just over here. We'll get that compacted in just a moment. Oh no, the front weight is tipped over. There we go, good. Yeah, so I've never actually set a worker off with just the rear mower before, so I really don't know how this is going to go. It might go badly wrong, but it's certainly worth attempting it. Now I know that we're in debt, we are still owing money to the workers, but it, it doesn't matter. Uh, it, the money still goes out, and we're soon going to uh, get that money back in again. How do we get to that field? Do we have to go up the road? Yes, I think we go over here. And again, same with the uh, the fence, we'll get the drill on the go as soon as we can do. Clearly we can't buy seed, but I think we do have enough in there to do quite a bit. Right, so I was looking at this field and that field from above, and actually it looks like they are about the same size. It's funny because you think that one just here is smaller, but that is the tr that is the hedge, the tree line, and that is a very similar area to this. It is deceptive. Anyway, let's get that course play going. Hopefully, oh, does it have a fur number? Oh, good, it does. Fur number 36. So, course generation, 36. And we want to go around the headland enough times so it doesn't mess up. Is this really 0.2 metres they're working with? Um, wow. <laughs> yeah, 4.3. Okay, do, oh, can we... Yeah, that's better. There we go. Good. Brilliant. So that should work. Even if it doesn't, what's the worst that could happen? I can just come along and fix it. Uh, and it thinks it's only going to take 20 minutes to mow the field. That sounds really fast. Anyway, yep, yeah, we've got those bells. Let's go and get them sold. I do need to check and see exactly where we're taking them to, because I think it would be better and safer to put them on the lorry trailer. So a standard straw bale. So many crops. Um, oh yes, of course, it shows zero, but I'm pretty sure you can sell them. Chellington Farm Balm, that's right here. Isn't it? Is it? Oh yeah, I've got these. <laughs> it does help if you put them on. Uh, Chellington Farm Barn is, it really is just down here somewhere. That's good. I'll save the game first, just in case it really does give us nothing for them. But I don't think it would do. Look how realistic that bell stat looks. <laughs> oh no, that's gone badly wrong. Um, right, save that. Yes, it, it doesn't matter. Just push them into here. Okay, what have we got? Oh, fantastic. £1,500 of bail. That's crazy money. Good. 
I am so happy. In that case, maybe we don't even have to sell all of them just yet. That is so good. Although they were Heston Bells and I think they were set to 6,000 litres. Yeah, they would have been. That's the default capacity of a Heston. Right, so in that case, we will get onto the pit. We'll get that compacted. I do have that bucket. We'll leave those two bells as... Well, keep them as spares because I'm hoping to get animals soon. Although I don't think we're going to get cows yet. Sheep? Yeah, should be able to get sheep very soon. Now, I'd love to get a buck rake. It just looks better than the bucket. Um, but well, I was going to say we don't have the money, but <laughs> we technically do. But it's just it wouldn't be wise to um, to spend the money we have on a buck rake just yet. So this won't take too long. 25% compacted. Just have to keep driving over it. Yeah, we will get a buck rake though eventually. I think maybe back over them. And then once this is done, we'll get back to that grass field, see how it's going. Uh, oh, and of course, yes, the uh, the subsoil will have finished. I would have thought. Just finishing now. The notification, right on cue. So the moment I have finished this, I'll go and retrieve it. We'll get the drill going. We actually have the money now for seed, which is brilliant. And then we can set it off all over again doing the drilling. And I think I established I was going to be putting in a cereal crop. I can't remember exactly which one I went for. Something like spelt. Uh, so that would be good. We're going to do carrots, we're going to do onions, but that is the whole point of doing this grass field. Since we already have a grass field, an unnumbered grass field, we'll keep that as our own one to feed to the animals. And then the one which we're going to be cutting today will be ploughed up and Maybe split into two fields, maybe one carrot, one onion. Or we could just have one bigger field. The good thing is, I'm fairly sure that you actually use the same machine to harvest both carrots and onions in the game, obviously not in real life. So we can just very quickly switch between the two different crops, so we could just do both. It would be interesting. A great opportunity to do both. Okay, how are we doing? 66, two thirds of the way there, so see you in a second. I keep forgetting this JCB is on lease, so that is another thing we do need to buy eventually. But I'm so happy with it. I would love to be able to keep it. Because um, yeah, it's just so impressive. And as I said, it's actually quite amazing that Giants never made a, a telehandler like this before, a, a JCB one because they fit in so well on the British farms and probably European farms too. Okay, so that is working well. I think it's going to be going up and down in a minute. As for this one, there we go. All completed. And that has enabled us to now get this drill because before it was uh, it was strange. It was classed as a seeded field as if it had been drilled, but there was no crop in. So there's nothing you could do except for cultivate it up some way. You could have just used a disc harrow, that would have been fine. Uh, like a massive disc harrow and got it done in no time. But I've opted to go for this because it does act as a plough. And then we get the added bonus of something like 15%. Uh, so yeah, definitely worth doing. That's interesting, the, uh, the console steering column is up. I think that's because I was using a worker. They should get it. There we go. Just looks better. Pop this in the shed. We'll get the drill. Yeah, we could actually keep bells in those sheds there because they're really good sheds, weatherproof. We would keep bales for the animals and we would also keep bales if we're going to store them until the price is good. Like if the price is really bad at harvest time, keep hold of them until winter and then get them sold at a good time. Right, where? I just saw the drill, there it is. So we don't need to do any kind of field analysis, it's all done. Although we will have to do the grass field. 
and we will have to put fertilizer on yeah we're currently set to linseed that's what the previous field was uh, so we've got rye triticale spelt that's most likely what I'm going for alfalfa alpha. Uh, clover the list goes on yeah we'll put spelt in I think the conditions are good I will just confirm this yep that's all fine crash into a fence <laughs> yeah it, it's the right temperature so in it goes and I don't think it'll take too long but we just need to get some uh, some bags of seed to the field so I could take the JCB and lorry or I could just um, drive this over to the store or I could also just set it so the worker buys the seed, but I'm not too sure if it makes it more expensive. But for now, let's just get it going. Need to get that set up. Fertilizing and seeding. Course generation again for number one. Headland uh, three times. Good standard amount. And there we go. And this time it will work. I can say with confidence. I'll just save that. Good. Okay, so yeah. Before it was actually showing the correct texture, but when you went on the map, it was showing nothing. It'd be a different story now. There we go. So we have spelt. Fantastic. Still need to look into the miscanthus. I mentioned it in the previous video. The previous video hasn't published at the time of recording this, so I'm sure many people have mentioned it. So I will be uh, having a good look through your comments. Thanks to everybody who does comment. Okay. That's going well. I really wish we had another tractor. It's good to have workers. Um, yes. Let's, um, let's sort out some seed. Because it's going to need it. Good timing. Once it comes round, I will just stop it and I'll get some seed put into the back. So I did buy two. We probably don't need two bags, but eventually we will do. It does keep, uh, so that's fine. And uh, to answer anybody's questions about placeable refill points or even refill points that are already there in the yard, like the lime uh, refill point, um, fantastic. But it's not something I want to make a habit of. I prefer to take the slower, more difficult solution, uh, just because it's more fun, in my opinion. Uh, instead of just driving up to a trigger and pressing a button, <laughs> we actually have to get the bags and stuff to the field. Okay, so, oh no, need to stop that. Stop! There we go. Take the cover off, and we will get that put in. And then we really can leave it to it. The New Holland tractor has probably almost finished the field. It's going to take quite a bit actually. That's already the equivalent of a full bag. Interesting. Only 35% left. Um, and yeah, we'll get that set off once again. I didn't miss a piece, did I? No, good. Uh, right, okay, so yeah, we'll get that taken back to the farm. And we'll hopefully be able to get the tether out. My plan is pretty much to do the same thing as uh, as the previous field. So we just add this to the pit, so we get loads of silage. Initially, I was going to do hay, 
we can still do hay actually. Hmm, it probably would be a good idea to have some hay. I know, we'll do 50-50. Which means we, we basically ted half the field once and half the field twice. Oh, yeah, I forgot, it's the rough area. I've been meaning to dump some uh, some mud here to make it look better. I will do it. We won't get stuck or anything, it just makes it look more realistic. So I do need to sort out my sheds. Eventually we'll have designated areas for seed and fertiliser and bales and all that sort of stuff. But for now, don't know if they're going to come off, they're probably going to be stuck. Um, yes, that will be fine. Put the bucket back on because that's going to be used for compacting. I don't know if the extra weight helps, but it just looks better. Uh, beacon off, and there we go. Ah, interesting, it's done it that way. Well, I think it would be lazy of me not to complete the job. Saves money. Besides, we, we, don't, want, we don't want two workers on the go, really. If we can help it. Yeah. So, uh, we've got to do the headland, which has been left. And we just go up and down here. Pretty much filling in the gaps. Nice and easy. And yeah, as I said, then we'll get the tether in here. We'll tether it. And I think it is a very similar size to that field. All this time I was thinking it was bigger. But, yeah. Maybe an optical illusion. The hay which is in, on the ground over there will get picked up. We'll probably bale it at the same time as this field. Right then, so that is the field covered. That's good enough. Um, yeah, I think, if anything, it's much easier than the other field because it's just a much more manageable shape, which is another reason why I think it would be better as an arable field. I don't mind uh, field shapes like the one over there for grass, but for an arable field, that would be a bit of a nightmare. So I, I would love to get all the grass work done today. So if we can get it all tedded and picked up and everything, that would be just fantastic, but yeah, it takes longer than you think because of all the different procedures involved. It's, it's always the same. Whenever I sit down to record a video, I think, oh, I can get this, this, and this done today. And then I'm still on the first thing, and we're like 20 minutes into the video. And if it's 20 minutes into the video, I'm about an hour and 15 minutes into recording because I cut so much out and I time lapse loads. So it's crazy. It is amazing how time consuming it is to do these different jobs. Oh yes, of course. Better not mess around with that. <laughs> we'll just drop it off. Uh, so yeah, the tether I put, I think, through here. Yep, there it is. Still leased. I don't own these. I own the plough. But I don't own too much. I own the baler, which I think is good. Uh, could take a shortcut. A little bit bouncy. Um, and I'm thinking if I was to get another tractor, it would have to be something like... Well, if it was a New Holland, it would be like a T6 equivalent. But I think I'm going to try and go for a bit of a mixture. Instead of sticking with one brand. Uh, yeah, like a T6 equivalent anyway. So that, that would be something like a... Would it be a 5700 series Massive Focus or 6600 series? 6700 series? Something like that. Um, it could also be... I, I don't know about Doi's file. Although it would be quite good to have a Doi's file because I haven't had one for ages. 
I'll have a look around. I'll go for a brand or a model which I haven't used for a long time. Okay, so let's get cracking with this. Uh, I am pleased that I went for the bigger tether though, because this can power it. No problem at all. And yeah, it still surprisingly takes a while. Try and get right to the edges. So now I just need to decide how we're going to split the field. Or do we do the whole field as hay? Um, yes, do we do the whole field as hay? Maybe we should do... If I'm going to get sheep, they need to obviously survive throughout the winter. They can't graze the grass in the, uh, in the winter time. So getting some in storage now would be great. There will be many more opportunities though, because it's only mid-spring. Hmm, it is a tricky one. Yeah, okay then. Yeah, we'll, we'll do all hay. I did the other field as all silage, so makes sense. Okay, so it looks like I was probably wrong about what this is. Still grass, I'm guessing. So you must have to tell it again for hay. As I said, I'm still learning about this. In fact, this will have been mentioned in the previous video. Because uh, I'm, I'm fairly sure I called this hay. So I'm making a grass bell. Not really what I'm looking to do. Right, okay, so in that case, it's going to mean not getting the grass completed today. If it's going to have to, it's going to, have to bake, isn't it? It's going to have to bake in the sun. So we need to check the forecast to see if we have good drying. Oh, wow, we do. Really good drying weather. It's brilliant. Um, so, yes, I'll just leave it. We'll, we'll tell it and leave it and tell it again. So my question is, how many times do we actually have to tell it to get hay? And also, I'm absolutely astonished that this tractor can power this baler. That is impressive. I will cover the pit over. We can start the fermentation process. Yes, because, uh, yeah, I was going to put some more in, but I think it would be best just to start it. Then we can get it taken out. Grass fermented, yeah, that's correct. Good. And yeah, we'll put this back in the shed. I do have a, a hay bale, a straw bale. Getting very confused now. Uh, fold that up, put it away. Yeah, so we will do hay. It's looking like three times to make hay. Right, so I need to check up on that other tractor, the seed drill. Getting on fine, another 50 minutes. It's a big field, this. Really big field. Yeah, so just got to wait until I can tell it again. It shouldn't be too long. Should be able to do it very soon. Let's see if it lets me do it. It's been baking in the sun. So, with a bit of luck, it will work. Yeah, okay, good. At least that piece is. Yep, that's working. Fantastic. So I'll go around. It looks like hay, but yeah, I think if I was to compare that with actual hay, it would look very green. The hay is like straw-coloured. 
Right, okay, so let's get this back onto a time lapse, let's get this field done. And then we'll wait a bit longer. Probably won't be this episode. And then we can do hay. I look forward to it. So that is the second load of tedding done um, and yeah I think we are on track just to uh, to do it again <laughs> in maybe an hour's time in game time and yeah I was just thinking when I was doing this that field there just looks fantastic as a root crop field just makes the whole setting look so realistic really is good um, so yeah what I'll do is I'll just check up on the seed drill pass a bit of time, we'll get the windrower here in preparation uh, and then yeah, once it's done we can just row it up and leave it as a windrow and then when the uh, the fence tractor is available next episode we'll get it into the field with the baler we'll get it all baled and then we can get them all picked up we'll use the JCB and the lorry right, so just put that there go and fetch the windrower time is passing. As I said, it, it's new to me um, using Maze Plus, so I don't know the details, I haven't looked into it, but I prefer to learn as I go. It's more entertaining. But I'm very happy with the progress of the farm now. It did get a little bit concerning before, but now we know we've gonna, we're going to have decent income from silage. There really is nothing to worry about. I prefer it this way anyway. I think working hard to get onto your feet, getting things successful, is much more satisfying than just immediately having everything. If you already had £200,000, loads of machinery, what exactly would you be working towards? I guess it would just be fun, but wrong way. Um, yeah, it's just not, it just doesn't have that satisfaction. Okay, actually, look at that. You can see the hedges are growing. Because we have to cut these hedges in the autumn or winter. And they're definitely much bushier than at the beginning of spring, right at the beginning. Okay, so we, obviously we're going to have to move this when we need to, uh, to work underneath. Drop that off there. Reattach the tether. Check up on the seed drill. And... Yeah, providing I've uh, got it right, we'll go again. How many times can you tether field? Unless, of course, you do just leave it for the sun to dry out. Okay. Yes, I've noticed the cover is actually off for the seed, but I can't control it until I stop the worker. 38 minutes, 37% seed. That's not going to be enough. I'm going to have to head back there with the telehandler. Interesting. Should have just left it then, <laughs> if that was the case. Yeah, there's me thinking that two bags was too much. Apparently not. That field is so easy to uh, underestimate. We only have just under 1,500 litres left. Hoping it'll be enough. And yes, I'll move that bale later. In fact, we'll sell that bale. Get another 1,500 pounds in. I don't think the worker is just going to stop for us, but I will attempt to stop it on the move. Because that would be quite good. Yeah. Okay. Now I'll let it turn. It will just cause issues otherwise. We'll get it on the right track. 
And A, I'm surprised it didn't close the cover. But I guess it just didn't want to. Put all the seed in. Not really much to put in. There we go. Consumed. Yeah, I think that is. It, it looks more realistic too, doing it this way. I know you can fill it from a silo, but uh, certainly from the farms I've seen in, in real life in the UK, they're filled from bags. Might be different in different countries, but yeah, UK. Um, I would say the vast majority are done from bags, but obviously not all of them. Right, let's go and try the uh, the tether again. <laughs> Definitely the uh, the tall of the uh, of the episode, and then um, if it works great, if not, then I will I'll look into how you how how you exactly make hay. But it's either going to be your tether or you leave it for the sun to sort in. So yes, the bale. Get that moved. Just put this here. As for where we're going to put the hay bales, because they are going to be for the sheep, it would make sense to put them in a shed over the far side there, maybe even that right hand shed there, because that is very close to the sheep. Easy money. And I know it's calling it straw, even though quite a bit of this was actually grass, but that's fine. I think the price has gone up, hasn't it? Fifteen two seven. Very good. Right then, okay. To the T4. Let's see if this is gonna work. Uh, no. Okay, well, I'm thinking that you probably do leave it for the sun to sort out. It would make sense. I mean, how many times do you really want to ted something? Um, yes, so we'll, we'll leave that windrow there. For next time. And with a bit of luck, we are going to see that dry out. But uh, I think that is actually going to have to conclude today's episode. Happy with the progress. Uh, obviously, we've got the field almost drilled. So that's looking good. We may have to buy a bit more seed, but we can afford it now. We fund the seed with bales. Can you imagine if bales really did cost that much in real life? Crikey. <laughs> that would be a lot of money. There's so many bales. Okay, yeah, we'll park in here. I think three tractors on a farm like this is a good number. Because at the moment I'm feeling a little bit lost without three. Two is good. One would be impossible. Yes, actually that's got 30 minutes left. But it can... Yeah, it can sort itself out whilst we're windrowing next time. That'll be about 30 minutes. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. As I said before, there's now Chellington on, on a Wednesday as well. So, uh, two episodes a week. I did increase it, because uh, I know how popular this map is. I love it. Such a good map, and let's be honest, one episode a week is not enough. I would never progress. Right, okay, there we go. See you again soon, and bye for now.